for Crypto Warriors and Sergeant Crypto back at it again. Today is Monday, August 31st, 2020. Privacy isn't negotiable. It's the right of every American. And I would go as far as to say it's, it's the right of every citizen on this planet. Especially when you're talking about, you know, crypto, crypto being that crypto is uh, worldwide and anyone could join a, a network just f from having a smartphone. Uh, right. Okay. And make a transaction ha transaction happen on let's just use bitcoin on a bitcoin network for instance okay so every citizen have the right to be anonymous and without having to feel like they're doing something dirty without having to feel like they're a bad guy you sh you shouldn't have to feel like you're doing something wrong because you want to re remain private private there's nothing wrong with wanting to be private in my opinion of course Let's get into it. And we're talking about DeFi today and anonymous coins like Monero. But here we are. Everything's going to be coming out of our coin telegraph and DeFi explosion. Uniswap surpasses Coinbase Pro in daily volume. That's big news, man. People are starting to exper experiment with uh, DeFi dApps and apps like Unis Uniswap. And the user interface is excellent or almost as good as coinbase's and the user experience is good as well or and it's getting better so if you haven't been using it start to exper experiment with it start to try it out and see how it works that's the wave of the future this is where everyone is headed is to de decentralized exchanges uniswap the most widely used decentralized exchange dex on ethereum surpassed Coinbase in daily volume on August 30th, which was yesterday, the explosive growth of decentralized finance DeFi market has pushed many avid investors to DEXs over centralized exchanges because you can't pick up these small coins or yield farm on a Coinbase or a Binance, all right? Especially on a Coinbase. Coinbase is super regulated and it's, you know, here in the United States, so it's super regulated and they, they have the the likes of the sec breathing over their necks pre every single day all right following the surge many small DeFi related tokens especially governance tokens emerge before they're listed on centralized exchanges they typically launch on uniswap as it does not require the approval of central entities or in other words it doesn't require require the pay to play to get listed on a platform in the past, you could look it up. We've seen that Binance was ch charging a ridiculous amount of money just for uh, coins to be listed, and that's what one of the beef was with uh, Digibyte is the fact that but was the fact that Binance wanted to charge him a, a crazy amount to get listed, and there were there were listing fee fees. You know, it was a pay to play to get listed on these exchanges: Coinbase, Binance. Uh, Hotbit, KuCoin, any of these exchanges, they all charged a listing fee, and that's how they were making a lot of money, especially during the 2017, 2018 uh, era. Okay, now they they change it up a little bit, and with the advent of these decentralized exchanges, these projects are realizing that they don't have to pay a listing fee to get li listed anymore. They just launch it on a decentralized exchange like Uniswap. The Ethereum blockchain Explorer Etherscan shows the number of Ethereum transactions have increased around f f from around 435,000 in January to over 1.1 million in August. The daily transaction activity on Ethereum blockchain is nearing 2018 levels for the first time in two years. At this time, ETH surpassed $1,400 on Coinbase, it's all time high. So we're seeing Ethereum and Ethereum and ethereum price i'm going to slow down because i'm super super excited we're seeing an ethereum price currently right now at around 400 dollars right and then we're seeing the transactions go up to all-time highs uh like it was back in 2018 and the price isn't reflecting those transactions yet so if you haven't been stacking your eth start stacking your eth not financial advice there you have it i mean Will the DeFi craze be sustained? I mean, right now we, we we're it's still I think we're still very early in the DeFi craze, and for now it's going to be a sustained thing. And especially especially, I don't think that we should worry about transaction fees. 
as a thing moving forward once ETH scales and go to ETH 2.0. Next, speaking of DeFi, BitTrue and OKX to offer, offer both DeFi and CeFi options. So what's a, what's a CeFi? We already know what DeFi is. So what's a CeFi? CeFi is centralized finance, something like a, a BlockFi, a Celsius network, or a Nexo, or a coin loan. Those platforms take your uh, coins and give you a, a rate of return. Like um, right now on Celsius network for Bitcoin, uh, for five Bitcoins and under, you have a rate of return of uh, six and a quarter percent, the highest in the in in industry right now. Okay. And you don't even need to have their tokens to, to get that extra percentage rate. And based on what they have different, um, different rates for each different coins or each different tokens on their or platform, all these, uh, CFI platforms do as well. And then you can also borrow against the crypto that you have on their platform for, uh, you know, not, not a ridiculous amount of, uh, interest that they will charge and you don't have to sell it to get it to get that um to borrow against your crypto okay so you don't have to sell it so if you you know you have an emergency or you want to trade or you want to buy something whatever the case is and you have a lot of crypto on their platform then you could borrow against it and not be charged that tax okay for selling your crypto you borrow against it and then you'll be able to pay it back at a, a I think a fair interest rate because I've, I've done it on uh, Celsius that network to test it out and yeah so there you have it but now we're, we're seeing that BitTrue and OKX they're offering or they're, they're planning to offer both a CeFi and DeFi platform I don't think that you could try to play both sides of the coin you know trying to offer a DeFi product and a CeFi product because you won't be able to offer the amount the rate of return that a DeFi product has and then also are you insured like these CeFi products I know Nexo is insured uh, coin loan is insured uh, Celsius Network and BlockFi they're all insured up to hundred million dollars so they're insured and they're they're protecting your crypto will these exchanges do the same thing you know will they be able to offer you that insurance and also try to offer you that high rate of return like a DeFi product. I don't think so. It's, I, I think it's a zero sum game. It's either you, your DeFi or your, or, or your, your CeFi. Okay. Now you let me know. You can come read the article real quick. Everything will be linked in the description um, below, of course. And right now we're seeing CypherTrace develop some Monero tracing tool to aid US DHS investigations, Department of Homeland Security, that's DHS. Privacy and anon anonymity, <laughs> to slow it down, are the primary benefits of cryptocurrency. Yet, due to the transparent nature of blockchain technology, crypto transactions are, at, are not as anonymous as some may think. Rather, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are pseudonymous as each transaction on the blockchain network is transparent, make it, making it possible to trace wallet addresses back to their source. So for all you newbies out there, yes, if the government really wants to, they can track down your, your Bitcoin transactions and tr um, all your crypto transactions if you're trying to quote unquote evade taxes or do some nefarious type of activities. We all know that. However, Monero is a privacy coin and the governments have been able to, to track them. Monero can now be traced. While Bitcoin has been ranked as the number one crypto choice among criminals, a great deal of dark net markets transactions are conducted using the privacy coin Monero. Self-explanatory, it's a privacy coin. You don't want uh, people to know what you're doing. You use Monero. All right, and this is coming from somebody over there at Cypher Trace. The tools include transaction search, exploration, and visualization tools for Monero transactions flows that have been integrated with Cypher Trace's Inspector Financial Investigations product. They're saying that they're, they're able to, with this tool now, track the flows and track the exploration uh, track basically 
see what's happening on the Monero uh, blockchain with each of these trans transactions with the these new tools that they they've developed they've been working on it for over a year right now all right uh here it is again the tool shows transaction flows like all cypher trace products it protects user privacy by not tracing individual user identities that's what law enforcement does based on our analysis and legitimate court orders so so they're saying that right now with all their products they they don't uh cough up your identity once they trace it back to like say a, a coinbase address or a binance address or whatever the case is they don't cough up your identity they're just tracing the the flows of everything on the blockchain right now and law enforcement with proper um not bail i'm having a brain fart with proper court order why did i say bail <laughs> with proper court order right with uh, proper proce uh, procedures they are able to get and cough up your identity they don't just give it give it up to them so it's the same thing with these Monero uh, tracking tools as well. This could very well be a game changer for Monero, as which has recently seen de recently been delisted from a number of exchanges to, due to poor compliance standards and an overall lack of transparency compared with with other cryptocurrencies because it's a privacy coin. And a lot of these exchanges they want to play ball. They want to have the approval, so to speak, of or from governments so they will delist a privacy coin like monero which you can't trace you know they, they don't want to be paying fines every day and last but not least no not the last part this because this was a, a longer article crypto community speaks out so this is uh someone that works over there monero right he's saying that we assume that the cypher trace the, we assume that Cypher Trace has developed a novel method to trace Monero transactions, but I'm not quite sure of what they can do. So it's hard to interpret the legitimacy of their claims. Saying that, saying you have a method to look at Monero transactions doesn't mean this is now as transparent as Bitcoin transactions. Um, Hiren Hauer, that's Hiren Haufer, I'm sorry, further commit, commented that it's extremely unlikely that CypherTrace can tr trace Monero to the extent that they can trace other cryptocurrencies without specific in information. Any spe speculation is just that speculations. He had it. So right now, it is saying that they may just be blowing smoke up our butts right now if you're using your Monero. Me personally, I don't use Monero. I've never even used Monero. And I take precautions to to make sure that my transactions are private, so to speak. But um, I don't care. You know, if you want to track me down, track me down. It's not like I'm trading millions of dollars anyway, so it, it doesn't matter. You know, I, I'm, I don't have anything to hide. But I do believe that everyone should have that right to hide their transactions if they decide to. And we're seeing that Cypher Trace is coming out with tools to track Monero now. Ultimately, Monero uh, makes it possible to hide all parts of a transaction, including the sender, receiver, and amount details. Tell me what private, tell me what big company wouldn't want that. You're, you're making millions of dollars, billions of dollars in transactions, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis if, if you're a bank. You will want to keep that, uh, those transactions private. So I think that the tools or the technology behind Monero has, um, has a future when when it comes to uh private transactions when it comes to big organizations i definitely see i can see large organizations banks using monero in the future or the technology behind monero because they want to keep their transactions private and we have more coming from cypher trace again i realize we oh this this is coming from Who's this coming from right here? Let me see. He stated that the financial Gladstein. Okay, who's Gladstein? I should have highlighted that. I'm sorry, Alex Gladstein, the chief strategist. Um, oh, chief strategy uh, officer at the Human Rights Foundation. So he, somebody, Human Rights Foundation is saying, I realize we have the Bank Secrecy Act, but transactions under ten thousand dollars should remain private. This isn't supposed to be given to the government, but if Javon's company gets its way this gets washed away and even little 
microtransactions become fair game for the US government and e or even worse, dictatorships. And he's right. You should be able to, to send your money privately and not w worry about the government seeing all of your transactions, seeing everything that you're spending uh, money on. It's none of your business. And this is coming from Ryan Taylor, CEO of Dash. Not want, to, want your spouse to find out you bought jewelry for your anniversary is very different from keeping the government from tracking your illegal drug empire. You see, why, why he has to say that? Most people are simply look, looking for good enough privacy, and I don't think professional tracing capabilities affect most people in any meaningful way. Yes, I agree with him, but I also disagree with him. It doesn't matter if it's just my, at the end of the day, it's my transaction. And if I want to keep my transaction private, I should be able to keep my transaction private. Whether it's spending a dollar at a coffee shop or $10 million, it doesn't matter. It's my transaction. It should be private. I should be able to keep my transaction private. It's for myself and the other party at the end of the, of the at the other end of the deal. So oh, let's discuss it in the comment section below. You let me know if I'm crazy again. And let's get into it and thanks for watching smash that like hit that subscribe button and notification bell to get notified when i upload new videos it's Archer crypto and i'm out peace